So this is a pumpkin plant and you can see it is starting to flower. They are all males so far. You can see that we are not having very good luck with having males and females and you need both. You need to have a male flower and a female flower and then you need to either fertilize it yourself or have some bugs do it. We tend to uh, help the process along. This is the other plant. Let's take a look. Yep, male. Male. I did fertilize a female in here. But if this is her, I'm afraid. I don't know if that's going to amount to anything. Mid July, and these are small pumpkins, but I don't know if these are gonna amount to anything. Such is the life of a gardener. So, another way to fertilize is uh, we've got some late season blooms on the apple trees. So, if you take a q tip, I'm gonna take from this tree and I'm gonna fertilize this one. This is a this is a different tree. And then I'm going to go back and fertilize this guy. So hopefully, hopefully I will have produced a couple apples there. I hand fertilized this entire tree, so what the insect didn't do, I did. In a time where there may not be a lot of bugs and bees flying around, the way to fertilize your tomato plants is by vibrating them. You can use an electric toothbrush, or you can just come out and gently shake the plant. That'll help to distribute the pollen and give you some tomatoes.